Welcome back, I'm playing Warhammer 40,000 Armageddon and we're continuing on with our Angels of Death DLC battle here with the Blood Angels trying to come after the forces of the Orcs. We are on a hunt to try to kill Thraka today. We do have Dante, you can see him in his little Golden Sanguinary Guard model there in the center there. Just kind of chilling back there. I didn't position these guys great. I probably could have got that kill. Kind of feel like we should be shifting these guys actually over. And then we've got these Imperial Guard boys over here. I don't know if they're going to be able to really hold the line or not. Do something like that, I guess. And then maybe try to pull back with these guys. I don't remember actually where Thraka is on this map. Alright, looks like that was like the worst thing I could have done with my sniper team there. And these guys are still aggroed on me. I'm going to probably lose everybody over here. I don't think I need to actually hold this point for anything. Yeah, see that side's totally collapsing. Damn, that's a lot of guys coming for me here. Orc mobs have detected in the flank. Yeah, no shit. Alright, he's down. got a situation over here. Damn, he's still got a lot of guys over there. Let's move you over here. Take those guys out so he doesn't keep aggroing on me. Take out the Stompa. I think I may actually have to just retreat at this rate. If they're all coming for me. For you, I guess let's just pull you back. I'm almost positive I don't need to uh, hold this for any objectives. Yeah, this guy's so weak, he can barely do anything. Interesting that a heavy machine gun has more movement than basic infantry. Alright, we'll do something like that. Hopefully that can hold the line and protect the mortar team. Yeah, I don't know why this game keeps crashing on me. It's very strange have to assume it's from the cheat engine, but I don't understand why it's this DLC and none of the other games have done it to me. Or any of the other DLC for this game, for that matter. I tried uh, checking the file integrity, seeing if maybe there was an issue with that, but that did not fix the issue. 
Thanks for the suggestion, though, for those of you that recommend doing that, because it was a good idea. But did not fix the issue, for sure. The question is, is, do I just keep pulling back with you guys? I kind of feel like I need to keep kiting them. Let's see. That's got a range of three, so I can't really move much closer than that. Here. Shit, there's Ludas over there. Maybe I just bring you over there and then I can do this. Get you up here. There you go. Drop that guy down. I'd like to get him out of the forest so he can start moving a little bit better. Damn it, there's more Ludas over here. I can bring you... Shit, you're just out of range. I don't think it makes sense to spend the points to reinforce any of these guys. So we'll just let them all die. more forces over here than I thought he did, actually. Not sure it makes sense to be attacking the Ludas. I kind of feel like I should be using these guys to uh, attacking the tank busters, but it is what it is, I guess. See that angle was causing me to have reduced accuracy. I guess let's just start shifting everybody over here. What I can't have is for those tank busters to catch up with that super heavy tank, as he'll for sure kill him if he does. Pull you back since you're about to lose a model. Let's see, what am I on? Turn four, about to go on to five. I was kind of hoping if I kept these guys alive, Thraka was going to come up here and attack, but I don't know if that's actually how this works. Yeah, see, they're starting to have stronger guys show up there. squares are on. Okay. Good. Drop those guys. And I really should probably be reinforcing him because I have about a 20% decrease in your attack damage by having that model being lost.
bring you over here to try to see if he's got more guys hidden in the trees. I don't think he does. Damn scout car, man. Let's see, you're here. Let's bring you down here to help chew through those Gretchen, I guess. I could bring you up here to start attacking this vehicle. I don't think I have to capture points to make them spawn on the, on the map. I can't remember how this goes, actually. Just have Dante finish that up here. All right, you guys can start scouting for me. actually quite a large map here but you see how long it's taking them to get through these units here it's because not only am I getting some reaction fire but uh, the weakened forces are the ones that are attacking me and therefore he can't get past that choke point now he will probably in the next turn or two but had I been more strategic on some of the prior maps and I could have done something like that on those as well to increase the efficiency of our units. Wonder if I should just be pulling these guys back. Or whether I continue to be here or not. It's probably going to take me quite some time to shoot through those guys with them being in the city. Because they've got extra model counts in the 50s. Probably get the kill here. There we go. All right. Yep, they're valiantly holding there. Now you can see that uh, killer plant on the ground. They won't hurt vehicles, but if you have infantry stand on there, it will cause damage to the uh, infantry. And uh, it'll also block line of sight. So that's why those snipers couldn't see anything there, if you were curious why they couldn't get a shot. Now what I should have done is moved them up closer, because then they would have had a higher accuracy chance. The other thing is you want to have guys close because then you get a zone of control so they can't reinforce back to full strength as long as you have them locked down.
But you can see how effectively I've locked down that point over on that bridge here. But now that he actually died, now they're going to just come in here and slaughter these guys now. Because now everybody else is going to be able to get their attacks. That also shows the importance of having units that are selected that are good against fighting what they need to be. You know, those Grot tanks are not good anti-infantry units. And therefore, they could not get a kill for their life of them when they were attacking the mortar team. And they were slowly getting weakened down further and further by the uh, machine guns that were behind them there. And then as the morale started to drop, their combat efficiency kept dropping and dropping and dropping. Kinda hate to feed Dante experience since I won't get to keep him, but... Who knows, maybe I'll have to use them to kill Thraka, because Thraka is usually a pretty powerful unit. So having all that initiative may be necessary. Because Thraka has a range 3 attack, because he's like a hero war boss, as you'd expect. But he tends to do good melee damage and range damage. Definitely did that poorly. Could have done that much better. Well, Dante, you want to get another kill, I guess? keep pushing or not, I guess is the question. I mean, in case I have to... Alright, good, that's the anti-infantry version. Yeah, I don't think I have to capture points to activate Thraka from showing up on the map, but I suppose just in case I should still try to capture some of these points. He's got a lot of stuff up here yet, too. I didn't see what just attacked me. I wasn't looking. Alright, well, let's start focusing down the artillery, I guess. you to there, you should be able to get the kill. Still got a lot of stuff up here. Oof, that was a mistake. Did not count those squares correctly. Alright, well let's finish these guys off. Ah, shit, he does have an anti-vehicle version up here. Yeah, you're 
take some damage. Okay, good. He actually didn't take much damage. Alright, that definitely could have been much worse. Again, that's something crazy about this game. It goes anywhere from doing zero damage to, you know, 10, 12 damage. That's what makes it so crazy. You know, it's estimated that I was going to take any damage. I took two, you know, just how this game and its estimates work, I guess. You're moving up, I guess. All right, well, let's just keep moving you, I guess. use you as a scout as well. Got eight turns left. Looks like I can hire two units. I want a Furioso. I mean, I have enough points for one. It definitely helps me clear out infantry, but then I don't have the assault cannon. The powered fist is better at taking out vehicles, but the Talon is better at killing infantry with those additional attacks. I think going for the Hellfire, though, is the way to go, because I'm fighting a lot of vehicles and a lot of Mega Armor knobs, and either of those melee variants can't engage them in melee until we get more kills without suffering model losses. Oh, God. Now we've got uh, Ludas coming for us, too. Of course, I just spent a bunch of my requisition buying those dreadnoughts, so now I don't have the resources to be able to restore the losses I just suffered. But I guess I can wait a little bit of time. getting ready to keep engaging and moving up. I don't really like that. It's already well past 50% of the turns. And I am definitely not 50% of the way through the map yet. Uh, I don't think I want to suffer losses there. Maybe reinforce. come down here. I did suffer suffer a loss there. That's not great. I don't know how many how much it costs to reinforce that one model. I assume it's just like sanguinary guard, but I actually don't know the answer to that. 
Also, suffering that loss may be a net negative on his experience. I mean, I was rather reluctantly feeding him resources with the hopes that he'll be a little bit stronger when it comes time to fight Thraka. Assuming he's going to run in there like a wrecking ball. I don't actually know if that's going to be necessary or not. I can't remember if Thraka... I know in for sure Thraka, when it comes to melee, uh, will be messing up my uh, Dreadnoughts, but I can't remember if he does a lot of range damage. I know he does to infantry for sure. I mean, I guess I haven't even found him yet, but I assume he's going to be hiding up north here. Yeah, it doesn't really tell me. Burn is over here. Damn. I forgot if you get it within range of one there, you'll be within the burn uh, range, so you'll get a counter attack. So that was probably the worst thing I can do. Be vigilant, brother captain. We have an alert status. Doesn't tell me anything. then maybe I'm going the right direction. So I guess we'll just keep you going north then. I see he's got guys over here too. So that still doesn't clarify. Is he north of me or is he to the or northwest or northeast? I feel like I've invested this much time clearing these guys out that I should keep moving up. There we go. I do not have a great amount of points left, or er, turns left. Seem to be aggroing on me. Poor scouts are getting killed. I feel like I gotta be sending you guys up north here. armored knobs, that's reassuring. War bike. Alright, they 
should still be able to see you. Alright. Three more turns. These guys are all back up to full. Alright, how far can I go, I wonder? Because the question is, is he up there or is he over here? I can't tell because he's got pretty good aggro forces from both directions coming for me. saw the mega armor knobs which makes me think he's to the north here but I'm just not quite sure how to position my guys because I'm not sure yeah see they these guys got egg roads so now my freaking company commander just got taken out all right here he is good all right you're dropping them He's not doing terrible damage to the Dreadnoughts. Alright, good. Throck is down. Didn't even have to use Dante. Now, I will say I'm a little disappointed. I thought... Uh, we've cleansed the immediate area, Captain. to do. I hope that doesn't mean that I've got to capture these other points, or that means I'm going to have to redo this mission again. Because I was being slow and methodical. Just call it quits here. Alright, victory. So I just had to skip the turn. Still has quite a few forces left. Glad I didn't throw everybody up there. Alright, not too terrible. Suffered some losses, but nothing uh, catastrophic for sure. Got it down to the wire. Ideally, could have done one more turn, but I just could not risk it. While not fully conclusive, intelligence suggests that Throck is dead. These orcs have yet to learn the fate of their master. They continue to fight on and make for us, make for the center of Tartarus. Captain, take your battle company into the hive. Contain the orcs within and prevent the greenskins from causing untold damage, as they will undoubtedly lash out on learning that Thraka has fallen. Even if it was not by my hands, curse the beast. Capture all victory hexes. Holy moly, we actually have some points to uh, be able to use to deploy guys here, and we even have three... units to be able to use. It's even better. So it looks like we're deploying over here and we've got to capture the victory hexes over in these locations. I guess
guess the question's going to be what kind of uh, units do I want to start getting? Because I feel like a couple of scouts may actually not be terrible to help me fight off the ranged units. Alternatively, having another guy here to be able to attack from range or restore morale could be beneficial as well. So there's one over here that we have to push through. So I guess we'll do something like that. And then maybe we just end up uh, saving up for scouts. I'm not quite sure what I want to do here. But I'm going to call it quits here for the day. I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, please give my channel a like and subscribe. I encourage me to post some more content for you. Have a great day.